I mean, I guess the question really is that we didn't answer was, you know, what is the treatment for patients who don't have a PCR? Where are we going um, in the early stage setting? You know, these patients have a high risk of recurrence and their median survival after metastatic disease is less than two years. So we really want, this is an area of high unmet need. So there are a number of trials actually looking at trying to alter the treatment in the neo, in the post neoadjuvant setting. There is a trial just looking at PEMBRO um, after no PEMBRO in the neo adjuvant setting, so we'll see what that shows. Um, there is also a trial looking at sasotuzumab versus treatment of physician choice um, out of the German breast group. And then there's a trial in the Alliance Foundation looking at sasotuzumab with PEMBRO versus PEMBRO and chemo of physician choice. And then there's still another trial looking at a novel trope 2 ADC uh, datapotumab directs to CAN um, either alone or with a checkpoint inhibitor, dervalumab, or the standard of care therapy, Pembro and chemo, et cetera. So a lot of different studies looking at trying to improve outcome. There's a tezolizumab that's being studied in a large neoadjuvant trial we expect to see data from in the not too distant future, and an adjuvant trial with the tezolizumab that um, has already enrolled 2,200 patients that we'll see as well, although we don't prefer adjuvant therapy. So.